and we're back on Enter Iowa's Outdoors coming at you with a little review of a product that I just purchased not too long ago. This is a, a product from Cast King, K-A-S-T King. Uh, you can find them on Amazon or you could go to their website. Um, they sell a lot of stuff on ePoseidon.com. Uh, one of the things that really intrigued me about this reel was a, it was a bait feeder. Something that uh, it's something that a lot of people don't know about, and most of you saltwater fishermen might know about what a bait feeder is. Um, but some of the newer people in the uh, in the fishing world, also some cat fishermen, uh, would probably know. But some of you people in the in the newer newer some of you newer people in the fishing world won't uh, know what a bait feeder is. Some of us, well, a lot of us have seen a rear drag system. Uh, this rear drag system, a lot of the times, will run the drag uh, up here, and they won't have a front drag system. Um, but this is actually a dual drag system. What you can do is, you can set your front drag to fight the fish. Um, you can set it right here to be able to fight the fish and do what you need to do there once you close the bale. But what it also comes with is a rear drag system and a clutch. This lever right here engages the rear drag, and you can set this rear drag really light, or you could set it really heavy, depending on uh, the situation that you're in. What this rear drag system does is, it allows the fish to take the bait and run with it for a little bit, and then you could do one of two things. You can either Flip the lever down to turn off the rear drag and engage the front drag to fight the fish. Or you can just turn the reel handle, watch that rear lever, and it goes down. Now you can fight the fish again. So that's kind of the premise behind a bait runner system. This is a 50 series, uh, this is a 50 series reel, so it's a little bit bigger than some people like to use for bass and walleye and things like that. This is mostly a, uh, a catfishing rig. You'll notice right there it says bait feeder, Sharky bait feeder 50. So it's a little bit bigger of a reel being a 50 series. One of the things I do like about this a lot is look at how big that bale wire is. That is an exceptionally beefy bale wire. It's very, very thick. Not only that, but you'll see these in, this in a lot of other more top-end reels. Is this line roller right here? It's actually a roller. It's got a bearing in there, and I don't know if you can see that right now, but it spins inside of there. You'll see that on some of the higher-end reels. Um, I haven't seen it on some of the lower-end reels, like some of the Walmart reels and things like that. But that is an actual bearing inside of there that allows that to roll. And what that'll help you with is the smooth reeling uh, of the line. When the line is going on the spool, this is rolling so that it, uh, it feeds the line onto the spool a little, a little better and a little easier. This thing has 10 plus one ball bearings in it. What that means is, it's marked right there, 10 plus one. What that means is it's got 10 bearings inside of the reel and then it has one anti-reverse ball bearing. What you'll find on some lower end reels is that you can reel them forward, but once you, but there'll be some reel back. There'll be a little bit of lag in stopping the reel from going backwards in reverse. With this reel, it's instant anti-reverse. So I can, I can reel it forward, but then when I try to reel it backwards, not happening. So it's got an instant anti-reverse bearing in it as well. Uh, the, the drag system uh, up here is a, is a carbon fiber clutch. So it helps with, uh, with stopping that fish a little more. Uh, what I found is when I turn this drag down real tight, um, it's, it takes a little bit of pressure to turn that, to turn that spool. So I'm not sure the amount of pounds of drag this thing has in it, but it is a pretty good amount. It takes some some effort to turn that to turn that drag when it's cranked all the way up. 
So I bought this thing mostly for catfishing, for catfishing in the river, uh, particularly the Cedar and the Wapsie. Both rivers house some pretty big catfish, uh, both flathead and channel cat. The channel cat get pretty big in both those rivers. So we're gonna be trying this guy out. Um, it's going to uh, definitely be, be put through its paces. Uh, here's your uh, here's your reverse. You can actually flip the flip the reel into reverse if you want to. There's your reverse lever right there. Now it's off. Um, but all in all, I really like it. It's a very smooth reel. Um, one of the things a lot of people like to do when they pick up a reel is they will take it and they will run it real fast and they'll just let it spin. So far, thing spins pretty good. The other thing I like about it is this this bearing that they have in the handle is a very smooth bearing. You can sit there and you can watch that thing spin for a while. One of the th one of the reasons people find that so important is that if you're out there casting this a lot, if you're casting it and retrieving and you're casting and then you're retrieving a whole bunch, um, people tend to get tired from doing that. So the smoother the reel, the better for that uh, for that application. Uh, but for us, uh, it, it was really not all that important because with catfishing, Everybody knows you just kind of take it and throw it out there and uh, just leave it there and you're not doing a whole lot of casting and retrieving. So the other thing I do like about this is that this bale, it clicks over really smooth. Um, it does not take a whole lot of effort to, uh, to click that bale over, very minimal amount of effort. Um, so, so far we're pretty impressed with it. Uh, we're going to give it a try this spring and uh, try to hook up on some pretty big fish. We are definitely going to be putting this thing through its paces. Uh, so if you guys like this review, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we will be bringing you more uh, content with this Sharky bait feeder uh, to try and put it through the paces and see how it works out for us this spring. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it, and we'll see you again uh, in the Iowa's Outdoors.